Cannabis stocks continue to sell off hard. I just looked at MSOS ETF, new all-time low. And I wanted to take a moment and just kind of let everybody know where I am with everything. And this is sort of a personal journey for all of us. But what I'm recording here is my own throughout my channel here. Uh, I first initially started out with Seeking Alpha, of course. Some of you followed me all the way back then. I actually was one of the original alphas from Seeking Alpha. Uh, left, came back, left, came back. Probably never going to go back again. And what I was always trying to do there was just point out things. Listen, if you're going to be looking at this stock, here are some things that I see. Given that, this is still the same message that I'm trying to apply here. And what I'm doing is showing you what I'm doing with my investments. I'm looking at the bigger picture way, way, way down the road. Cannabis federal legalization will absolutely happen. The stock market's going to head back up. Got some interest rate moves today. Probably see stock market move up tomorrow or maybe by the end of this week. Um, given that, safe banking, we still don't know if it's in the new omnibus that they just put together. We have Republicans in the Senate sitting there, standing their grounds, folding their arms and saying, nope, these crusty old white men actually turn out to be some of the most important there are, but they can be bought. These omnibus budget deals are Christmas trees. Everybody gets to hang an ornament. And now Schumer wanting to something that's a priority for him, a priority that goes back five to seven years, that priority, if he's going to get that through, he's going to have to give up something, whatever any one particular Republican may want. Last count that I saw, there were 59 people saying yay. We still don't know if it's in there. I've heard no's. I've heard, hey, there's still a shot. I've heard everything else. Personally, I'm not playing for it. Look at the bigger picture. The eventuality is cannabis federal legalization will happen. Cannabis stocks will go up. But what's that mechanism? Right now, short sellers are just destroying everything. And that's one of the things about OTC stocks. There's nobody lining up to buy these right now. There's no big players sitting there buying on the dips. And the OTC shorts know that. And so they keep pounding and pounding and pounding. But there is value there in these stocks. And eventually, one day, the OTC short sellers are going to be dead wrong. And boy, is that going to be painful. There has to be a point where, despite what they're doing, the risk-reward ratio at this point is so skewed against them, even though they may be profitable on their most recent trades, that it just doesn't make sense for them to continue forward and they have to get out. That doesn't seem to be the case. Go back to July, August time frame and keep this in mind as your big picture because this is what I'm doing. And boy, am I loading up getting ready. About 10 senators, Democrats, rolled up on Joe Biden, sat down and said, we can't get it done. Just legalize it. The process of legalization or, or shifting rescheduling is real simple. An interested party petitions HHS. HHS does a review. Two criteria they're looking at, the two main criteria, addictiveness and medical feasibility. Does it have any medical benefits whatsoever? When you look at all the other things like fentanyl and heroin and anything else, beer for that matter, you can't tell me that cannabis is far more addictive than fentanyl. Given that, I look at this as a process. The senators petitioned Biden. Biden petitioned HHS, which by law, 
there needs to be an interesting party to petition HHS for a review. What did Biden do after that about two months later? This was mid-July, mid-August. I can't remember the exact date. October 6th came out and said, anybody with petty marijuana crimes, I'm, I'm pardoning them all. And in fact, a couple things have occurred since then. The DOJ, what was it, yesterday? Everybody's so focused on safe. The Department of Justice just created a web page for anybody to apply for their pardoning. Because there's about 6,000. This just makes it easy for them. Are you reading the writing on the wall? So Biden comes in October 6th and says, I'm telling HHS, take a look. It, it can't be where it is right now. And he pardons 6,000 individuals. And the DOJ is making it easy for that to happen. Think from a policy perspective. Do you think Joe's going to sit there and be like, yeah, so I pardoned 6,000 people. I stood in front of all of America and said, this should not be the way it is. And then HHS turned right back around, do a tweet just last Monday saying, listen, still working on it. At 420, you don't think this isn't already de decided? They're just going through 42,000 published documents, finding the ones they want, the science. They will make the recommendation to DOJ, who's making it really easy for people to get pardoned. And then it gets signed into uh, rescheduling, executive order. And as I mentioned, well, I think it was Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, can't remember what day that was. Today's Wednesday. We will know if SAFE is in there Thursday, probably late evening when they release this. If they haven't released it already, I still don't know. It's not really something I'm focusing on. If Congress can do it, yay. If not, don't care. So it's not something I really, I'm picking through. But I know a lot of you have had your hopes up. In the meantime, I'm buying lottery tickets all over the place. NASDAQ traded stocks. I've got a handful of stocks I'm picking. The ones that I know people are going to rush into. People who have no idea what they're doing. I've put enough standardized analysis information out there for anybody to view on NASDAQ stocks and, of course, the OTCs. I'm buying out of the deep out of the money options like I think Tilray traded at like 325 today. I got 650, 750 calls expiring one month from today. If Biden does his signature anytime between now and say the 20th of January, seven bucks. Try 27 bucks, 37 bucks, 57 bucks, 77 bucks. And when you look at what's happening right now, these short sellers are hammering things. They're going to be the first ones that are effed the most. But there's also the individuals who I just bought options off of. If you look at all the, Na I've been sifting through all the NASDAQ options. All the options changed, looking at all the open interest. Now, when you see those open interests, that's multiplied by 100. So if you see 28,000, it's actually 2.8 million actual options. A contract is 100, although that's not standardized. I know certainly, I think someone just told me today that there's one stock that the contract size is 10 or something like that. I don't know. The short sellers are going to be racing to get out. Those people who are selling those options are going to be racing to cover. And there's going to be zero advance notice. Except for the fact there's been advance notice. And everybody's being faked out by safe. If we find out tomorrow, yeah, they tuck safe in there. They got it in there. And the House passes that. It's a done deal in the Senate. 
what are those short sellers going to do tomorrow or Friday morning when they wake up and be like, wait, what? What was in there? But it's not something I'm playing for. I'm playing for something that probably has a probability factor well above 50. And because of that, hey, if safe happens, it happens. In the meantime, this is how I'm managing my account. Some events happened today out in pump and dump world, if we'll call it that. Uh, and that's not what my channel's about. I try to present the information. All the information I have out there is all the information that's out there. I just put it in charts and I put two and two together and I say, yeah, look at the revenue. Look at the this. Look at that. Yeah, it's a losing company. But right now, they're turning things around and this could be a possibility. But I'm talking about my own sort of journey on this. And for me, I'm buying lottery tickets left and right. I am fully prepared every month to step in and re-up on these lottery tickets over the course of the next two years if Biden takes that long. I don't think it's going to take that long. The reason is simple. These senators rolled up on him July, August. October 6th, two months later, he made a massive move. He's, this is moving forward, but no one's paying attention. And everybody is dumping out. So that when Biden does his thing, I'm set. I'm set big. This is my journey on that. I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing with these options. Deep, I've got about five companies I've got options on right now. Deep out of the money calls, anywhere from two to six weeks out. I'm just going to keep rolling them, keep rolling them. When some expire, buy brand new. Four months, four weeks out, four weeks out. Just keep rolling them over, rolling them over. Month after month after month. I'll keep you up to date. Uh, if safe is in there for tomorrow, even better because that's a done deal. Then we'll see how it happens. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thanks for following along. We'll see you in the next video.